So welcome along guys to a fabulous little quick speedy tutorial Little Flowers in a Jar Perfect, what a title So let's get cracking guys So we've got Peter the propelling pencil so We're just going to start with a nice little rectangle Here it goes One step, two step So we put the little dots down Line down Line down and one just in the center there and drag that just underneath so we hit the dot and we curve around yeah just imagine you are a uh, a little jar sound good good so there's the jar shape we just want a little circle here look at that spaghetti it around with the center perfect Another one there, but that's on a bit of an angle look. Same sort of width, but it's a bit squidged just on the side there. A few little flowers here, these are a bit smaller. These travel in threes, they're uh, quins, yeah. And we've got one there, that's the cousin going to join them fairly soon. A few little leaves, drag them out. Try to arrange it a bit so it fills the space. And then we'll have a couple of little ferny bits going off here. Oh, it's going to be, it's always going to be magical. You need some stems, base, and a bit of water. Yeah. So that angle's quite shallow, that's quite steep, because you're looking down on it, you see. You're looking down on the water. So there is the drawing, guys. Very easy, straightforward. We don't muck about in this game. Have a little rest. Get yourself some champagne, and I'll see you in a few moments. So welcome back guys, let us use our big brush, that is called Dangerous Dave. Yeah. So Dangerous Dave, we're going to put a bit of water there, and a bit of water there. So these are the, going to be the yellow flowers, and guess what we're going to use for that, yellow. Lemon yellow to a coffee strength, so it's quite liquid. We'll just chuck that on, a little circle, fairly straight forward. Got it on, then I'm going to push out some p potential, they've got potential these, potential petals. A few there, potential petal, going out this way up. So they go out more like that way, these go out like a little starburst here. Yeah? Can't be bad. Well done. If this is your first painting. That could have been your first bit of watercolour you've ever placed down, so well done guys. Now I've got Cad Orange, same sort of strength, think about coffee. Don't get one, but just think about it and think about the thickness you imagine it could be. So now I'm going to put some coffee Cad Orange into the mix. On one side more than the other, on the right side more than the left. Same here, dab a bit in, because it's nice and liquid just floats about. It's crazy like that, it's crazy. Now what I need now is a little bit of tissue, not because it's gone wrong, I'm going to weep, because it's going right and I'm going to do something, I'm going to pick off the centre. Look, there's the centre being picked off, and again, you don't have to be too accurate. Never am, I've never made the school darts team. But now I'm going to change my brush, to Mini Dave, there he is, there's his little face. And what I'm going to do, I'm changing him because it's a smaller area. And just in the centre, I'm going to waft that around. 
Yeah, there's me wafting. Can you waft? Of course you can. There we go. Now I'm leaving some little white bits of paper. Because I picked it off, there's little dry bits of paper. Same again, but this is on an angle in the centre. Ooh, look at us. And it'll bleed off a bit, that's all fine. I'm just going to put a bit more orange just there, as if this little fella is casting a bit of a shadow onto this one. Yeah, got that on. All very good, you're doing very good. Very good. Now I've got another colour, Indian red. Yeah, just dollop a bit of that in. Chuck it on. Champagne waiting, guys, we can't muck about. So there's the centres. Very good. So I'm going to stick with my little brush. I'm going to put a dab of water there, there and there. And a bit just there. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put down some Rose Opera to a Coffee Strength. Yeah? So Mini Dave, Rose Opera, Coffee Strength. There's one. There's two. And there's 15. No, sorry, there's three. Sorry guys, I do I do tend to joke a bit. Please feel free to laugh at your leisure. And we've got another one just here. There's not much water on there. I'm just dragging it a bit around my, uh, my yellow one. It's just lurking. It's a bit, this is a shy flower. This is called the shy flower. No? See how they'll see the way they're bleeding in. Now quite often people get a bit concerned. The thing, oh no, it's bleeding in. But we don't care, mm -hmm. do we? Do you know why? Because we are looses. And what do looses do? Loose paintings. A little bit of tissue again, picking a bit out the centre. Yeah. Fabulous. Oops. Dropping on my paper. And I'm going to use, let's have a look. I'm going to go for a little bit of alizarin crimson for the centre. Yeah. Just plonk it in. There it is. There's plonk number one. Plonk number two. Plonk number three. Now you notice how you drag them on a bit of an angle. That's across, that's there, and that's there. It just gives you that little centre of attention. Another one here, and I've not picked that off. I'm just going to let it bleed in. I don't care again. Look at me. That's exactly what it used to say on my school report. Sometimes he really doesn't care. It'll be ideal for loose watercolours. So we've got this on. Now I've got some running about over there. I'm just going to pick a bit of excess off. A couple of dollops here. Now what these will do, I'm going to lighten a couple of petals. If you're okay with that petal, there we go. It gives a nice bit of texture as well. So that's just common garden kitchen tissue. Yeah, so if you go to the kitchen, anytime you when you first purchase the house, you would have got kitchen tissue with the house. Right, we've got that on. Now I'm gonna get some little ferns on. Are you with me guys? Are you with me? Good. Ferny fern, bit of water. Ferny fern, bit more water. So another one there. So I'm gonna go for a little bit of mauve. Coffee strength. Movey, movey, move. Start off quite wide. Drag it across. Do it again. You're going well. So it's a bit wider at the bottom. A bit less wider at the top. So a little, little wider at the bottom. Less wide at the top. Yeah? Eased. So we've just got those on guys, just take them to the top and I'm going to put a little bit of purple in as well. Yeah, that's the sort of guy I am. Add a little bit of purple. And it's still liquid so it's just floating about. Yeah. There it is. Classic floating about purple. You going well guys? 
I'm looking over your shoulder and it's looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. Okay, let's get some flowers on. Oh, sorry, we've got those on already. Anyway, let's get some greenery on. So I've got lemon yellow and sap green mixed. Yeah, with my home fair hands and the brush, which is mini Dave, is a little dagger brush. Okay, I'm gonna just find out where I want some leaves. Drag one there. Yeah, and just let it cascade down a bit. If you've never cascaded, that's how you do it. Got one on. Let's go round the leaves, petals rather. I keep getting leaves and petals mixed up. And what I do, I put pressure on the brush and then just gradually lift it off and it, and it won't cover so much of an area. Yeah? So I got that on. A few little dabs here. Little few little leaves there. You don't have to cover all of that area. Just leave a few little bit of, bits of light white paper showing through. And the other thing I'm doing is just carving, just with a big old blunt brush, well, a little old blunt, blunt brush, round the edge of the shape that I think could be the edge of the uh, flower. Just dragging that round. There it goes. And I'm going to drop a few little bits of my greenery in to the uh, ferns as well. Now they'll mix. That doesn't matter. Mixing's good. Yeah. Mixing's a good thing. So I've got those colours on, but now I'm actually going to use a little bit of mid-coloured blue, mid-tone blue, which is cobalt blue. I'm going to drop this into some of these leaves. Yeah. If it's still wet, it'll bleed a bit. If it's dry, it won't bleed a bit. So that's why you have to be a little bit quicker than your normal style of painting. Same here, look, just dropping it in. A bit just here. Just going round the shape. There it is. Just going round here. Just into there. Tiny little dots. That's all you need. Just adding this into this uh, one at the top, little fern. Yeah, you're doing great, guys. You're doing great. Now, if these are a little bit dry, give them a drink with a little bit of water on your mini Dave. So I drag it through, and you can reshape it. And what you'll do is pull the colours together. Yeah, can you do that? Of course you can. Of course you can. So you're just reshaping it. And also you can push the colour out a bit and make it a little bit softer. You've gone nowhere near the palette. You're a palette avoider at the moment. Reshape it if you want. Pull it together if you want. All these things are available to you as a loose watercolourist, yeah? You're doing fantastic guys, fantastic. So most of your flowers on. I think we need a bit of a bowl to put the uh, flowers in. So I'm changing my brushes again to Dangerous Dave. Bit of water on the bowl. Yeah. Not overly accurate, I like the way these greens just run in. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to encourage them. Got a weak royal blue. I don't mean I just use it once a week, I use it quite often. 
but it's weak as in f almost T strength, yeah? That's if you take weak T. Got that on? Now I've got a little bit of turquoise. Ooh, look at that. But you notice I'm leaving quite a few little white shapes, untouched areas on the glasswork, yeah? Cool, Barry Mustard, good stuff, good stuff. Now, bit of shadow, the shadow. Cobalt blue, just under my flower there. And again, you may notice I'll just tap the color into the yellow. And again, that reshapes it. It just chopped, the darker color will chop out the lighter color. Bit of a line for your water. Bit of a lot, bit of a splodge on the base, and a couple of lines down. So again, the splodge on the base is just stronger colour down there, just to pick it out. Okay. What I shall always also do, guys, is just run a bit of water underneath bit there, all the way across and there and then I'm going to let some of this very fine paint just drift out, yeah, and if it's not fine enough, which mine isn't, I'm going to put a bit more paint in the bottom and let that drift out, I'm just having that as my base colour, nothing much at all. So it's almost as if the glass is melting on the surface that it's placed on. I'll tell you what else I'll do. I'm going to put a little bit of pink in there. As if a few petals have fallen. And a little bit of yellow as well. Cool. Very cool. Now I've got a brush called Miss Rigger. There she is, lovely lady, and she will put the oomph, or should I put it, say the stems, into our stemmy stuff. So there's a stem. All we do is just lightly drag. I have to take them generally to one side and then cross them over a bit. Yeah. Cool as custard. Barry Mustard, I'm throwing Miss Rigger about now. Let's call it a pirouette. Right, okay guys. So now I've got cad orange and a bit of Indian red on my brush. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is shape these petals a little bit more. So I've just really quite clumsily drawn around them. Yeah, clumsy bumsy. And then I get a bit of water on this side of the petal, because this one's further away. I just put water in that bit and then flick it off at the angle of the uh, petals. Same here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of, a few dots around the outside, Indian red, Cat orange. Flick a few of these out. So what I'm trying to do is aim a little bit towards where some of the obvious petals are. Then drag a few lines down the center. Cool. A couple of stronger lines just to make out. They're a little bit stronger. And then just on your little 
pinky pinky flowers a few little dots just at the top edge of where the center is yeah very gently done guys very gently done and finally just in the center let's put a little bit of um let's have a little bit of purple just a few dots in the center of this one now these stronger colors will attract the eye a little bit more yeah i don't do it all the way around because I'm busy yeah so that just gets that shape on I think the final thing I'll do I'll have a very light water line so I'll put a dot there a dot there And just waft a little bit across if you can do the same at the bottom a bit more of an angle and it's just inside the glass it's not right at the edge of the glass when I've got it on just waft a little bit of water into it you can drag a couple of lines through it And your final thing, a little bit of splattery splue, Miss Ringer. A little bit of pink, a little bit of yellow. Yep, all jolly good. So there you go guys, there is a beautiful little quick floral, one to enjoy take it nice and steadily and you too will have a beautiful little pot of water flowers very very soon so see you again next time well done and brushes down